Today we're going to be looking at Manic Panic in their new color Cobra, which as you can tell is a brown. Also, my video is not sponsored, but Manic Panic was nice enough to send this to me. There is construction going on around me, so hopefully you can't hear that, but if you do, I apologize. Okay, so I will start by taking the dye directly out of the container and I'll apply it at the top of each swatch. Some people do like to dilute their dyes, so I will do a diluted version at the bottom of each swatch. Also quickly, I want to mention that these are human hair swatches, but the only one that's going to be virgin hair is the number four black swatch. The rest have been chemically colored or bleached at some point in their lifetime. The numbers are not synonymous with hair levels. I do different video clips and pictures near the end of the video, so the numbers just help us keep track of each swatch. One is green. This brown seems to have a lot of red undertones, so I want to see how well it covers the green. Two is gray. Three is a natural red. Again, four is black. So four all the way up to 11 is a range that goes to platinum blonde. And then number 12 is like a toned version of number 11. Please keep in mind, everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take color differently. Also different screens and monitors can make colors look different. So please just use my video as a reference for how this could possibly turn out for you. Cause I feel haunted in my bedroom The floorboards in the next room Will keep me warm Cause you ought to know Nothing about you makes me For the diluted section, we're going to do a 1 to 2 ratio. So that is going to be one part of dye to two parts diluter. This didn't seem to be super, super pigmented, which is why I'm adding a little bit more dye than I usually do. If you're confused about what diluter is, my simple answer that I like to give is that it's something that lightens the color of a semi-permanent dye. Usually each brand will have a mixing medium that you can buy to lighten the colors. Um, but to keep things relatively fair, I do just use a plain white conditioner when I dilute. All right, I'm going to let these sit for about three hours because I really want the swatches to absorb the color. I will then rinse them out and when they're dry, I'll meet you back here and we'll do some comparisons. So I feel like the angle that you're looking at this color does kind of matter as to how it looks. And I say that because after this dried, I realized that it has a lot of red undertones in it. And from where I'm sitting now, it does look more brown but in every other lighting and way that I was looking at it, it looked a lot closer to a natural red. And after looking online at the Manic Panic website, I realized that this is a much more red undertoned, I guess kind of brownish auburn red than I realized, so I apologize earlier for calling this a brown, especially because I read the reviews as well, and a lot of people were saying that it did fade to a kind of natural red on them, so... So even if it does look brown, initially when you dye it, there is a chance it could turn a lot more red on your hair. Of course, it depends on your hair. So number one was originally green. I do feel like the top half covered pretty well, but I don't know if it necessarily looks like a brown. 
I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I do see actually a little bit of green peeking through on the top, so this might not be pigmented enough to cover green if your green is this dark. If your green's a little bit more pastel, you might have a better chance with this, so I would say strand test, <laughs> as always. Two was gray, and that one, as usual, has a slightly more dark and maybe a little bit more cool tone look versus the blonde swatches. It almost just looks a little bit more smoky, especially on the diluted part, whereas the blonde ones have a little bit more of a saturation look to them. Three was the natural red. I don't see a huge difference on the bottom half. It might look a little bit more red than before, whereas the top half does definitely look at least a little bit darker. I'm thinking that this cobra color kind of pulled out some of the natural red in the hair already, because I feel like it does look a little bit more red. Four was black, so it did not take any color. I don't see a huge difference on number five. I think there might be a slight undertone difference when I was looking at it. It did look a little bit more red than before, but overall it's still very dark brown. Six, kind of similar, it still looks pretty brown, but on the top half especially, there is a slight reddish look versus before. Cobra definitely darkened seven and eight, and I feel like on the diluted section for number eight is where you can actually start to see some of those more warm tones coming out. Now, I did notice that when I was mixing the color, it's not a super, super pigmented color, so if your hair is anything darker than blonde, I will warn that there is a chance that it won't stick to your hair, and if it does stick to your hair, it could wash out quite easily especially if it's virgin. If you're looking for more of those reddish tones in the dye to come out, I think you would have to aim for your hair to be as light as 9, 10, 11, and even kind of 12. Number eight does definitely look a little bit warmer than it was before, but I feel like from my perspective, number nine is where it really starts to get some of those more reddish tones. And that applies to both the diluted and the direct dye portion. But I will say that the diluted section looks a little bit darker and more pigmented on 10 and 11, so you might get a better result if your hair is lighter though. So as for comparisons, not many brands make natural colors, but because this does lean a little bit more on the natural red-ish side, I will actually compare this to Manic Panic's other kind of natural red, which is Tiger's Eye. So this is comparable to number 12, number 11, number 10, and number nine. So in comparison to their natural red, the Cobra definitely looks way more brown. So it depends on the kind of red you're going for. To me, the Cobra is much closer to like an auburn, whereas Tiger's Eye quite obviously is basically like a ginger. When you think red hair, that's what Tiger's Eye looks like. Both are very beautiful, just different types of natural reds, at least in my opinion. Okay, so like I said, not many brands do natural colors, so this actually kind of reminded me of a color that I made. So I experimented with using colors on the opposite end of the spectrum, like on the color wheel for Arctic Fox, and I basically made my own natural red. So I actually wanted to show you guys that in comparison to this, and I did use Arctic Fox once again. I used Arctic Fox because I have all of those dyes, so I have access to a whole range of colors where most other brands I don't have all of them currently. So for my natural red, I used Periwinkle, Poison, and Phantom Green. Um, for the top part, I did three parts of Periwinkle, three parts of Phantom Green with one part of Poison. Poison was very pigmented. My result came out a little bit darker than the Manic Panic one and a little bit more red. It looks like the Man of Panic does still lean slightly more brown. For my diluted section, I didn't measure it out. I just added some until it was a lot lighter, so you can see those reds coming through a lot better. I actually feel like the diluted section is kind of closer to the direct eye, so I did move it a little bit so you could see it. Mine's still definitely more red, so if you're looking for that perfect brownish red, like brown with a little bit of red in it, I think the Cobra would be a really good option. And Manic Panic does have other ones that are more brown than this um, and less red. Manic Panic sent me Tiger's Eye, Cobra, and then the black one from their Supernaturals. So just let me know if you want to see the other brown ones. I can buy those and try them out. But now I'd like to get into the before and after clips. 
Those as well as anything you see after this point in the video will all be done in natural lighting. Cause I feel haunted in my bedroom The floorboards in the next room Will keep me warm Cause you ought to know Nothing about you makes me I hope this video helped. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. But just remember, I only do brands that do not test on animals. Thank you so, 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 so much to my patrons. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.